Hi, I'm going to be making a cat today. So first, you're going to create a new object and get a half sphere. Then you're going to get a move block. I'm just going to copy and paste this because it makes it a lot easier. So you need four half spheres and four move blocks. The first move block is going to be five for Z. You also have to change the color to white. And these are going to be the paws. That's what we're going to work on first. So the first one, you're going to change move, x stays the same, y stays the same, but z is going to be 5 because if I play this right now, you can see it's halfway under, and this one right here is the one I moved up. So, yeah. The second block is going to be x stays 0, y is 30, and z is 5. The third one is going to be 60 for x, y is 0, and then 5, z is 5. For the last, the fourth block, half sphere, x is going to be 60, y is going to be 30, and z is going to be 5. Then, c they're in a rectangular place and those are the paws now we're going to move on to the legs so get a cylinder and a move block change the radius to seven and the height to 40 and then we're going to move this to change that to 20 then we're going to change it white and copy and paste again and we need four of those too they're basically going to be in the same place as the paws but they're they are a little bit different so, yeah, so the first one, gonna, the X is going to be 5, the Y is going to be 30, and Z is 20. The second one, X is going to be 65, Y is going to be 30, and then Z is going to be 20. Just going to close that, and then... The third one, x is going to be 65, y is going to stay 0, and z is 20. And on the last one, x is 5, y is 0, and z is 20. So let's see how this looks. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to create a new object again. And <clears throat> we're going to get two cylinders. And <clears throat> we're going to get a rotate block and a move block. And then we're going to get one for each of those two. So rotate a rotate block and a move block. Then we're going to change the color to black for the first one and white for the second. Then change it to rotate around the Y axis for both of them. Move the first block, x is going to be 30, y is going to be 15, and z is going to be 50. Then for the second one, 
x is going to be 30, y is going to be 15, and z is going to be 48. Let's see what that looks like. I also need to make them bigger, so we're going to change the radius to 25 on both of them. The height's going to be 75 on both of them. And then the rest stays the same. And then we're going to go on the sides of the body. So you're going to get three spheres. And then you're going to get them each a move block. So three spheres and three move blocks. And then we're going to change the color. The first one's going to be white. The second one's going to be black. And the third one's going to be black. Then we're going to change the size. The radius is going to be 25 on the first one, 28 on the second one, and 25 on the third one. Keep the steps the same. Then we're going to move the first one. is going to be x is going to be negative 7. y is going to be 15. And z is going to be... 49. Then the second block is going to, x is going to be negative 30, y is going to be 15, and z is going to be 70. Then the last one, x is going to be 65. Y is going to be 15, and Z is going to be 50. And just move that up, and let's see what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Change these colors to whatever you want. But now I'm going to be working on the face really quickly. First, you're going to get a uh, paraboloid, I think that's how you say it. You're going to change the color to black. These are going to be the ears. Um, the radius is going to be 12. The height is going to be 35. And the sides are going to be 24. Then you want to get a move block. X is going to be negative 30. Y is going to be 0, just because I have to copy and paste. But then Z is going to be 92. I'm going to copy and paste this one time. So there's going to be two of these. And for the first one, you're going to change Y to 30. And then for the second one, it's going to stay like that. So I'll show you what that looks like. Then we're gonna get the mouth or the nose, I think. And you're gonna get a torus. You're gonna get a move block. And yeah. Then Change the size. The radius is going to be 7. The sides are going to be the same. 2 is 2.5. Steps is 16. Then we're going to move that negative 50.5. Y, that's X. Y is going to be 15. And Z is going to be 70. This is part two. 
Here you can see the cat. This is the nose that I left off on. And here's the coordinates. Now we're gonna move this up and we're gonna get a text block. Just right here. Then we're gonna add the text. The text is gonna be one of those like like parentheses and we're gonna change the height to two on this and the rest version is gonna be two then we're going to go and modify and get a bunch of these blocks so first we're gonna get one move block then we're gonna get add to delete because it didn't make sense and I accidentally made a mistake. But we only need one rotation block here and it's around the y axis. So change that to the y axis and it's gonna be 90 degrees. And while that's playing, I'm gonna get. You're going to get a box, and you're going to change the width to 10, the length to 3, and the height is going to be 5. It's a lot smaller than it originally is, so, yeah, and then change the color to white then you're gonna get a move block and a rotation block the rotation block is gonna be around the y-axis change that and it's gonna then the move block is gonna be oh. move you're gonna do the x is gonna be negative 55 negative 55 for x y is gonna be 15 and z is gonna be 65 you're going to change rotation around the y-axis. You're going to change this to 75. And then let's play that. Real quick. Then we're going to start. We can conjoin these together. And then we're going to get a half sphere okay this is what the face looks like so far we're gonna get a half sphere two actually and we're gonna get one move oh, wait. we're gonna change the color to green for both of them and get rotation one move block and two rotation blocks a lot of difficulties but it should work now so I gave each half sphere they're both green I gave them one move block block and two rotation blocks the move block is going to be negative 50 for x, y is 25, and z is 75. Then, the first rotation block is the z-axis by 90 degrees. Then, the second one is the y-axis by negative 90 degrees. Then, the second 
half sphere is going to be moved to x is negative 50, y is 5, and z is 75. First rotation block is the z axis by 90 degrees, and the second is the y axis by negative 90 degrees, and this is what it looks like. I did that. Now we're going to move on to doing the tail. So we're going to create a new code block. A new object, I guess. And we're going to get two cylinders. I think. Two cylinders. And one paraboloid. <laughs> Those three colors are going to be black because the tail's black. <laughs> so, color that black, black, and black. Okay, now that I have these three shapes. The size of the first cylinder, the radius of the first two cylinders are 8, and the paraboloid's radius is 8.3. The height on the first cylinder is 25, the height on the second cylinder is 41, and the height on the paraboloid is 18. Then the rest just stays the same as it automatically is. Then I added a move and a rotation block to each of my parts. The first cylinder, the X is going to be 85, Y is 15, and the Z is 58. Then on the rotation around is the Y axis by negative 60. Then the second cylinder is the x the x axis is 97.5 the y axis is 15 and the z axis is 36.5 the rotation is around the y axis and it's by negative 15 then on the paraboloid the part moves the X is 102.5, the Y is 15, Z is 9.5. Then you're going to rotate it around the X axis. Mm -hmm. You're going to rotate it around the X axis 180. And then that should be your tail. Now let's see how the shape is forming. Okay, so that is your cat. There's the tail, the body, the legs, and the face. Bye! Now you know how to make a cat in Tinkercad.